see you today. Oh, yeah. The unplayable Yorker in cricket is a delivery. That's notoriously difficult for batters to handle, and its effectiveness comes down to a combination of physics concepts. What happens when an unpicked able rigid force is generalized to demolish the stumps? Absolute recaining, in other words, the unplayable Yorker. Why is the Yorker a batter's worst annoyance? Let's us look at the Mitchell Strack. An Australian bowler Yorker, a pace faced by an English batsman. Ben Stokes 145 kmph delivery. When a bowler releases a ball that possesses kinetic energy by virtue of its motion and as it travels, its trajectory pace act first the drag force that is. The air resistance act the relative motion of the ball acting almost 12 percent of the pace and when the ball makes the pitch is the collision where in kinetic energy of the ball is also lost and the ball now has a less speed but in a yorker the loss of pace is mostly due to a drag force only and when the ball makes the pitches the collision is closer to the crease here even though there is a loss due to collision the batters doesn't feel that lost and there is no left of time to negotiate with the Pace and the flight of Yorker as released by Malinga as completely destroyed by the batsman. Remember, the reaction time is just plus 0.5 seconds to react to this trajectory, this. which makes it extremely difficult to from goal to connect oh. and hit the sweet spot that is exactly what Mitchell Strack is doing almost slinging the ball pitch hit right between Ben Stokes' feet. But let's not underestimate. The batsman they invented this. Yorker as a creative. Short to negotiate the Yorker.